hello everyone so today we are going to work on this grinding part for our uh, skateboarding character so uh, this is how we're going to get started with grinding we are going to create a spline mesh uh, a procedural spline mesh that we can use for stuff that we can grind like railings or curves and then we are going to implement a way to detect those grindable objects from any place not just from the beginning and then we are going to do a transition from just regular moment to the grinding moment and yeah let's see how to do that part and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support right so first thing what we need what we need is some object that we can grind something like a railing or something so this is what we have when i jump i would be able to get onto that uh, railing and go along that okay so let's create uh, a new blueprint in the type of actor let's call it pp no just rails no, rail okay here let's add a spline mesh Spline mesh or spline? I'm not sure which one to add. Well, I think it's spline mesh. Let's place it here. Uh, uh, first, let's place a regular spline mesh actor like this oh now we have this uh, controls to end uh, controls to make it longer or do anything we need okay so here let's add a static mesh oh we don't have any static meshes let's see let's show engine content here we should have some static meshes right Let's use this cube. Oh, no, uh, this cylinder. Wait. Uh, I think cube would be okay. All right, that's better. So. to make it smaller but uh, this is too large we need a very thin object to be used as a railing so let me all right we can set it like this if I go here and unlock this first, set Y scale to 0.1. Now you can see it becomes thinner like this. So how to add another point?
yeah right it's not possible to add any more points to the to this spline mesh actor so let's go here and let's add a spline component right and then let's add spline mesh actors to this uh, spline mesh components to this so for each no get spline get the number of spline points right so we can do a full a loop first index zero last index oh this is inclusive so yeah all oh, right not this so we need to minus not one but two because and because uh, as the endpoints of the spline mesh actor that we are adding we are going to add the at some element let's say if we start from zero zeroth element is the first point and the other end is first element so like that okay so add spline mesh component uh, right so here we can select that cube again with point one for this and set start and end right now here so this is the last index so here from the spline we can get um, can we get tra directly transform yeah can we can get transform at a spline point coordinate space I'll set it to global point index whatever we get from here and also we need another one to get the second point so this one plus one Uh, can we directly set the transform itself? Let's see This is a start and this is end and the tangent oh wait we should have a method to get the tangent as well get Uh, get location and tangent okay we can use that coordinate space i'll keep global i'm not sure about local space location tangent 
लोकेशन टेंजेंट और राइट This is the ray. Oh, it's there. Why is that? Ah, it has to be in local space. Okay, that should be the case. I didn't know about that. Right, now it is working. So if I add another point we can duplicate here like this or we can press alt and drag well that's actually not what i expected ah sorry here i should connect this now it should be fine wait not yet all right i think what's the problem i think i know what the problem is the problem is i have set here this is scale to point one if i set it to one yeah now it works fine okay then what i have to do is i really need a thin object so i don't have any meshes let's but uh, we can create one in unreal like this We can go to the brush editing mode. Move it down. It should be in the size of no, this is too high. Okay, this size would be good. Let's go back to the normal mode. Oh, it seems the pivot is off. Let's move the pivot like this. and go back to a brush editing mode side and move up okay that should be enough maybe we'll leave it like this okay now how can we convert this to a static mesh can we do that right uh, when we go to the select mode and select this object and here 
under brush settings we have this create static mesh option so let's create it uh, turn this into a mesh okay now we can use this instead of the cube so actually I don't need this engine content anymore so I'll hide it and let's use this let's see how it looks well it looks fine but mm, why is it straight uh, maybe that's because it doesn't have enough faces so if I go here and enable wireframes you can see it has only one face from this side and one face from this side so it doesn't have enough poly polygons maybe that's the case so yeah I undo and uh, again turn this back to a uh, box brush so here again let's go to the brush shade it in select this surface we can yeah we can triangulate this okay oh wait why can't I select this surface It is selected. All right, it is selected now. So to split, I need to select this line uh, first let's take a look at how is the how many polygons are there in a normal cube mesh uh, it has multiple mesh multiple faces all right so I can select click here and this is split option happens so I can split it like this maybe this might work Try to select the edge. Yeah, now edge is selected. Press a split. Similarly, here. Not a face. It's really hard. Okay, a split. Oh, is this enough? Let's see. Let's create a static mesh. Mm -hmm. Trail two. Okay. Now let's use this rail two here. Oh, 
okay now we see the pendings all right so the poly count was the issue okay i think these pendings are enough uh, for our purpose right uh, now let's delete this and let's create a new folder called rail and move it here also the mesh to move there okay and also i think we should have a different color for this materials oh we don't have any materials all right M color let's use uh, this color Let's use this color for the rail. Okay, now this is the rail. Let me oh wait. Let me delete this rail and let's add something from the beginning. Right, this is our test trail. Okay, first, uh, does this have collision? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. So let's generate collision like this no and also here oh it's no collision let's set it to block all now let's see okay now it has collision I know I think it's too small for a railing. Let's move it up. How about now? Okay, now we can't go through that. See, <laughs> okay, that's great. But it's not perfect. So how do we grind on this? All right, let's uh, for the collision. Yeah, let's uh, implement a way to detect whether we can grind on this object. So let's implement a new blueprint interface like this grindable okay now can grind so this will say or return true if the surface is grindable yes 
and let's implement that interface in this BP and this rail blueprint where is it grindable right sorry I should name it like this PPI grindable that's the way I use to interface name interfaces okay now in the rail I will simply return true right so how do we detect these grindable surfaces right when we do a jump in the skateboard well this is where we do jumps let me collapse this jump in right ah sorry this is the third person character uh, we should use the third person is getting character okay this is jump and kick flip let's just name it flip because I was I got so many uh, feedback about this is not a kick flip this is not a rail this is a hill flip so things like that so I'll just name it flip well actually yeah I don't know I can't fix these animations as I need help from some animator so for now I'm gonna move on with this uh, right so when we do the jump if what's this so we can do a line trace like this no, not a line trace we can do a sphere trace by channel uh, well maybe line trace would be enough And the start point is get at the location and it point is oh wait a minute maybe we will have to do a spear trace yeah start point is current one end point is uh, get forward vector get actor forward multiply it by let's say 200 units and add to the location so that's the end point so we are doing a spear trace by channel with the uh, let's use camera tray here with debug type for duration so we are trying to determine if we have a grindable surface in front of us so I'll collapse this part detect grind so if this is true if we got a hit if we receive a hit object we can break this and get the actor using grind can grind we can determine if this is a grindable surface that we are hitting with so if yes let's have another branch if force we can just go to the output 
if false here also we can go to the output if yes we let's just print can try it for now So yeah, actually we should, you just saw the height, oh wait a minute, radius, this should be something like, let's try 30, okay it's too high. Maybe we should try from a lower point, something like this. Let's add minus 30. Um, is 30 too much? Let's see, minus 30. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, man, no, no, not here. We should uh, add the offset to this one. Minus 30. Right, let's see now. Okay, can grind. We got yes. Cool. So now, right now from here, if it is yes, let's, uh, uh, we can get the location. So we can, uh, we can get data we require to grind. So here I'll add another function. Oh, what should we call this? Get grind spline. So we it should return a spline component and also it should return. Oh, Right, so these are the uh, thing, outputs I added for the get grind spline. Grind spline, spline, start point to determine what is the point that we enter to the grinding object. And also, so this will be like the length uh, or the point on that spline and the direction. So we could be maybe we is going backward along the spline or forward along the spline. So for that, and also the spline is here. So to the top of this object, we have some um, distance. So let's call it uh, oh wait i don't think we need to encapsulate we need to get all of those details into the into this function so let's delete it maybe we just want to have a reference to this Oh, we can't because we get as an actor here. Right, so we will need this function still. Okay. So I'll add word 
30 car offset now let's just call it offset grind offset I'll make it a vector so that we can have offset in all the directions I need or no that could be a problem that could be complex so grind offset just a float it should be in the height okay so with so many doubts we are proceeding yeah, but that's all right that's how these things work nothing is clear until we implement them so as a grind is plain, I can return this and this starting point hmm in order to determine the starting point we need the current location of the uh, skateboarding actor character um, right so let's add an input a vector let's call it uh, hit location and here we can call get grind spline and spline let's promote it to grind spline as the hit location I'll give this the location where we hit in this spear trace so now in the rail we can calculate so we need a function no yeah we will need a function to get closest distance along spline okay here also we need an input in the type of uh, location And this should return a float closest distance in this plane. Oh, spline distance. Okay, so I'm going to use this function to determine at what length, at what distance along this plane that my character can jump onto the uh grindable this rail so i can call that function like this get closest distance along the spline and this output will be the start point refresh spline distance okay now we can get this uh, we can get this spline and we can start from zero like this get world location no not like that get location at distance along a spline ply point I'm going to use the word so distance I'll make it uh, right not that I promote this to a local variable distance and also I'll have another variable 
processed tests. Uh, maybe we should go this this blind stand. Another one min distance. So for the minimum distance, I'll as the default value, I'll uh, have a very large value like this. Okay, now we can get the distance like this. Sorry, not the distance, the world location on the spline at this given distance. And we can get distance between this point and this point so if this value is less than the mean distance then set mean no add a branch if it is true set min distance with, with this value and then set uh, closest distance with the value with the current value of distance if not add some value to distance increment the distance like this get the current value of distance and let's add let's say 10 units and have another branch to check if this distance is less than the length of a spline because we should not try to get a location at a distance along the spline where the distance is larger than the max length the length of the spline it will give us an error if it is true we can try again if it is false we will simply return with the spline distance as the closest distance okay right now we can get the spline closest spline distance from that function uh, let's print it here to see if that is working oh it's zero oh it's again zero zero that's not properly working then what's wrong Oh wait, even if it is true, we should continue this. Okay, 900. 
160 what happened to the character one one forty all right this is the starting point okay i guess that is correct 30 4 10 6 30 right yeah, i guess it is right all right now direction i promote this to a variable let's call it grind point and save it so direction uh, how do we calculate well for now i'll just assume that i'll just try to enter only from the forward direction uh, to go forward along this line uh, we can do that calculation later uh, for now it will only work in one side so I'll set as 1 and this I'll set as 30 okay uh, we can work on them later but for now I'll just promote this grind direction and find offset okay and exit this part so now when we do the jump in in the on notify begin if we have a valid grind display let's do uh, is valid node here if we don't have a valid grind spline i'll jump otherwise i'll do something like this um how oh. let's add a reroute node here Collapse this right here. Enter grinding. Okay. Now get the grind spline, and also we know. Let's set the category. Grinding. get the grind point so I'll set mm, okay uh, now I'll set the moment mode to fly and I'll move my capsule to to the point where location where we start grinding so get uh, location at distance along a spline I'll use world coordinates and the using the grind point then i'll move my capsule to that point 
like this and the uh, relative rotation get rotation at distance along the spline that's also world so here I'm gonna use only the your part okay also I'll, I think I will have to stop movement immediately of the character movement here and also I need to disable these moment inputs so we should only add these moment inputs if we don't have if we are not grinding so is valid we can use if we have a valid display that means we are grinding so we can do it like this We should be able to do it like this all right shall we check it is not complete but let's see what happens oh wrong let me eject from the character Ah, right I know what went wrong but what's wrong is we didn't consider the height of the capsule so we need to add the half height of the capsule to this point otherwise my character will be submerged inside the rail now it should work let's see The problem is this I didn't consider this grind offset we need to consider that too then we should uh, grind away but that part is not implemented yet so let's see how to do that part now maybe this is top moment immediately breaks the momentum of the character Let's see how it looks without that part. Okay. Also, we need to disable this uh, board adjusting according to the ground when we are on uh, when we are grinding
we need to skip that part so we can for that also we can use this one checker is valid check here if not we can do the board alignment otherwise we skip that part okay um shall we uh, promote this part to a separate to a separate uh, event Uh, I think that would be better. Cut this and custom event. Oh, wait, start grinding. Now, how do we continue to grind on this plane? That's the next part. Okay, so for that, oh, wait a minute. I think uh, we can uh, do this without this part. All we have to do is this one okay and then let's go to the movement input so if we have a grind spline let's set the reroute node here and collapse grind moment so i will add a moment input to make sure that the character is uh, character is going on uh, going along this plane so yeah for that we can use this calculation let me copy this and in the grind moment so like this we can get the target location of the character so also we can get you can get actor location and uh, and from that we can de uh, remove the half height of the capsule oh not remove we can add so that's the target location we want to move no, that's the current location of the character and we are trying to move to this location so let's check distance from here to there if this distance is larger than let's say 10 Let's add movement input 
to the character and the direction is this direction from here to there so this should happen if the if the distance is larger than 0 larger than 10 if uh, the distance is less than this value then we should set trend offset we should add another let's say 20 units to that well actually it should be a multiplication of the grind direction get grind direction and multiply it with 20 set grind direction and if uh, this grind direction is larger than uh, length of the spline or less than zero if this we should stop grinding so grind offset it's if it is larger than this value or less than zero then what we should do is we should set grind spline to nothing so we are not grinding anymore at the branch if it is true do this let's see what happens now we did so many things without testing nothing okay let's do a line trace here to see where we apply the moment input start location is this and end location is this work type for duration I think something is wrong all right actually we didn't call this a uh, start grinding anywhere yet yeah that's the issue so we should call it here start grinding let's check now something is happening but that's not good enough <laughs> that's crazy uh, what's wrong here and uh, in this part So actually uh, when we get use the character location we don't have to worry about this half height so it will only always give the middle part uh, the middle location of the actor so I don't think we have to add it here we can make sure that by checking the line trace we do yeah see it's okay 
so what could be the issue maybe this 10 uh, let's try 50 for this Did we return any grind uh, direction? Yeah, one. Ah, sorry. It's not the grind offset that we need to set. I'm really sorry. Uh, we should set the grind point. Yeah, that should be the issue. Okay, but still we are not moving let's debug seven ah okay again I'm sorry we have to add it uh, we have to actually increment the grind point so we have to add the current point to this value and set it how stupid of me okay now it is working but oh, right again we should set this and then set moment set moment mode to folly right it is working but not good enough uh, let's multiply this by 100 and see if we can get any smooth result right that's also not good enough yeah well uh i changed this value to 100 and this back to 20 and here i added 0.8 so this is the result i got which is not great so we will have to find another way to move the character along the spline okay let's try another approach if it is not working we have to find another way to do it so i'll connect back this part again and here when we start trying it uh, i'll get velocity of the character and get a talent and store it as grind speed because while we are grinding we don't speed up and uh, using the grind speed we yeah 
yeah this is the target we can get word location of the capsule and we can find the distance between this one target and the current location and by dividing this with the grind speed we can get the time right and here I'll disconnect this part for now wait it was instant why is that what was the speed let's try this value Why is it instant? Let's print the velocity. Do we have any other prints? Start point. We don't need it anymore now. okay all right maybe that's because we stop here when we try to move yeah so well for now let's just set some value like what's the moment speed max speed uh, 1200 let's set 500 for now we can actually calculate it later for real okay why did it stop by the way doesn't matter okay after that uh, let's add another boolean variable called grind it where did I use grinding okay let's add a space okay and then let's set grinding to true all right now in the event graph here yeah 
the instability of this Let me collapse this part. Uh, Prime right moment. And I'll give the delta second as an input to this part. So if we are grinding, a force just go to the output if true get the grind direction and get the grind point and get grind offset we need all these things and also grind the speed multiply this by grind speed <coughs> and grind direction and uh, set grind point like like this Then set at uh, lo location you seen uh, the spline location manually like this get uh, location. at distance along a spline you seen world space so you seen this grind point so before we do this we need to make sure uh, the condition that we checked here this condition grind point does not exceed the length of the length of the spline or le not less than zero the condition if this condition is true we should stop grinding set grinding to false otherwise set actor location like this add the capsule half height to this which is Ah, sorry. This should not be added here. Uh, this need uh, this uh, grind point should be added, not multiplied. 
so it should be like this and also we need to add the grind offset as well Oh, we already have it here okay shall we check now right it is working but not complete first thing is this should be slightly larger than 30 okay also we need to set the rotation as well not just location so set that location and rotation uh, location is this rotation is get rotation at distance along spline inward split Plate only connect here. Okay. So now at the end, I think we should make the character jump to make it look nice but for jumping we only have the input action yeah so let's add a custom event jump custom and connect it like this Yeah, I'll make the character jump custom. Okay. It didn't jump. Why? Ah, oh, sorry. This is the move forward. That's not where I should add it. I should add it here. Jump custom. bad really bad um why Oh, 
right so i was able to smooth out the ending up to some extent and extent like this so at the end i set the grind speed as the character moment speed and set it to falling the moment is state to falling so it looks like this now And also I had to increase this grind offset to 50 because uh, when it was 35 character was still inside this ramp uh, rail so because of that once I set it to falling it just falls down not falls onto the this uh, platform so i need to find out the correct value so let's keep this visible and see oh we are clearly above the ground okay so this should be less than 50 let's say 40 right It has taken one and a half hours now. Okay. So finally, uh, when I grind, I'll rotate my skateboard like this. Thirty. No. A minus fifty degrees here and 20 20 and minus 30 okay I'll give that when I start to grind so how do we do that let's add a sequence here for this and another sequence for the skateboard move component to are you seeing the same time and the relative location I'm not going to change so it should be same as the current one get relative location which should be same and relative rotation should be 20 and minus 30 maybe not enough about minus 70 okay and when we exit the board we need to fix it so I'll copy this and add the sequence here set it back to 0 with maybe 0 0.4 0 0.3 
Okay. Right now, in the event graph, let's print the speed of the character to prevent that uh, stopping. At velocity, at the length. and print because I need to make I need a smooth transition from character to the ramp it becomes zero that looks bad Ah, right, right, right. I know what stops the character. It, uh, the character stops by... Here. We start grinding. Uh, when the notify begins. That's the case. So instead of this grind spline condition, if we use grinding boolean check, that should be all right. Let's check. was smooth than before at least we moved back that's an issue mm -hmm. okay so fix that we can do this instead of giving the hit location we can give no we can add a offset to this let's say no we will fix that problem in another day so for now i'll stop this episode right here Okay, so as always, project files will be available for the download through Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can also get the membership of the Patreon club. So thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.